Hey guys, it's Roya, and today I'll be talking about constant acceleration. Acceleration, A, is defined as the change in velocity, V, over the change in time, T. Now, if we look at a velocity versus time graph here, and we have um, a graph that looks like this, where velocity reaches, I don't know, 20 meters per second in 10 seconds, we would say that the acceleration is the final velocity, 20, minus the initial velocity, 0, over the change in time, or the final time minus the original time, which is 10 seconds. And this gives us an acceleration of 2 meters per second squared. Now, these units might not make sense to you because they're not very intuitive, but remember that um, acceleration is velocity over time, and that velocity over time is the same as meters per second over second. And if you move this second back up to this denominator, then you get meters per second squared. So a second squared isn't a real thing, it's just a rate over a rate. Now, um, let's try and graph the acceleration of this velocity, uh, of this change in velocity. Now, if we draw tangent lines to this graph, the tangents will all have the same slope because every point on the velocity graph has the same slope. And it's an upward slope of 2. Therefore, our acceleration would be 2 meters per second squared. And this would be constant acceleration. ABB physics and SAT2 physics only test you on constant acceleration. Now, if acceleration equals change in velocity over change in time, then change in velocity equals acceleration times change in time, right? And now, let's say that we have a velocity that starts at 10 meters per second. And it goes up like this into our title. Now, um, final velocity, v final, equals v initial, initial velocity, plus acceleration times change in time. Because... First you start with a velocity of 10 meters per second, and then you increase your velocity by a certain rate. And um, if we were to increase our velocity with um, an acceleration of 2 meters per second squared times 10 seconds, we would have um, a final velocity of 10 plus 20, which equals 30. And if we look on the graph, this makes sense. It's about uh, 30 meters per second, our final velocity.